Good morning, everybody. I'm actually here at the Portland Jet Port because right behind me passing TSA and if you go downstairs, you'll be able to find a new meteorite exhibit and it includes some of the best pieces from the museum in Bethel. But why did organizers decide to put a smaller museum right here at the airport? One of the main reasons was uh, the museum acquired the second largest piece of the moon at a time when we weren't sure we were going to put it. And at the same time, I was thinking, where can we put stuff where more people can appreciate it? Uh, it would have to be a place where there's just a lot of people, and they have some free time, and it has to be a place that's really secure. And then, of course, it occurred to me, the jet port. A natural fit. Daryl Pitt curated this exhibit and found all the samples the museum has through collectors. I love meteorites. Um, they're fascinating, fascinating objects for so many different reasons that we don't have the time to get into. Now he wants to share the love with others who might have the time to enjoy this out of this world display while they wait for their flights to board. We have the second largest piece of the moon on Earth and the museum is the largest piece of the moon on Earth. Uh, also the largest piece of Mars on Earth and the largest piece of the asteroid Vesta on Earth. It's a world-class museum and we wanted to share it with more people. Colby College Associate Geology Professor Dr. Tasha Dunn says this is a great chance to see a very unique collection for free. Here we've got samples of the moon, there are samples of Mars, also samples of asteroid Vesta which has been really thoroughly studied. You know all of these places are places that we visited either with humans or with spacecraft of some kind and it really is just wonderful to be able to get samples from those bodies and bring them back so that we can really then ground truth the information that we get from the satellites. The first display visitors will see in the right hand corner features pieces of the crust of the moon. Well uh, many of these are breccias and that's because the moon has uh, endured many, many impact events, particularly early on during its formation. It was constantly impacted by other small bodies, and so that breaks up the surface. Two-thirds of them will fall in the ocean. A lot of them will fall in uninhabited areas. And then uh, every now and then, we can find one in a desert. And that's what's happened here. And that's where all of these were recovered. Is this also a piece from Mars? These are not pieces of Mars. They come from asteroids that uh, were differentiated, meaning these are small bodies that had a core, a mantle, and a crust. And palisites, as far as we can tell, represent the boundary between the core and the mantle. So that means we're getting a sample of the core. Daryl says they have one of the rarest iron meteorites for visitors to touch. This is the most iconic anthropomorphic meteorite known in the world. And so I just think it's incredible for people to stop and think for a minute about what is beyond our planet and also how these samples inform us about our own planet as well. Of course, you will need to book a flight to be able to see this exhibit right next to Starbucks here at the Portland Jetport. It'll be here for the next five years, but if you're not planning a trip anytime soon, you can just visit the main mineral and gem museum and it opens every day except on Tuesdays. Live at the Portland Jetport, Hannah Yashivi, News Center, Maine.